next seven weeks are referred to as the seven weeks of comfort, beginning with this Shabbos, Shabbos Nachamu, to comfort us of our loss, our terrible loss of the Beis HaMikdash. How? How can we be comforted after everything we just read in Kinos? What is the comfort for us? So I think when we go to pay a shiva call, the thing that consoles our mourner more than anything else are not the words of encouragement they hear. It's not people telling them, I'm here for you, I'll always be here for you, or what a tragedy, but rather that the tragic loss that you have will not be for nothing. We're going to learn something from this person. And the thing that gets them lit up is when you tell them a story about their loved one, or they tell you stories about their loved one. So we must learn the lesson of the loss of the base of Megdash. What is the lesson? I like to say over a story about a man, a painter, who is painting a painting, his final painting, he wants to make the most beautiful painting on top of a mountain. He's painting it for weeks, every day up there. Finally, when he finishes, he just wants to appreciate his work. He takes a step back, another step back, another step back. And the person that was with him from the other corner sees that he's about to step off a cliff and he starts screaming at him, yelling at him, stop, move, what are you doing? You're about to fall off a cliff. He doesn't hear him. He's so focused on the painting that he loses focus of everything else. And he's just so focused on that painting, he doesn't see anything else around him and he doesn't hear the guy around him. Till finally his friend runs over to the painting and takes a knife and destroys the painting. Why? It wasn't the punishment, it was there to save him. The Rabboni Shalom, the Nevi'im were yelling at us, do tshuva, change, be different. But we were just so lost. I guess we could say we were focused on the wrong things that we weren't focused on the important things. That's the lesson of Tisha B'Av. We read Eicha. The keynote is constantly referring to the word Eicha or Eich. Other, it could also be read as the word Eicha could be read, Ayeka, where are you? The lesson of Tisha B'Av. The lesson of the next seven weeks of get, being comforted, of feeling that consolement, is did we learn something from this loss? Are we going to walk away with something from our loss? What should we walk away with? Ayaka, where are we? Are we focused in life? Are we focused on the right things? Are we going in the right direction? Are we building our lives the way we should be? Are we becoming the best versions of ourselves? That's the question we have to ask ourselves. That's the question we have to ask ourselves for the next seven weeks. And Mir Tashem, if we do, we can say, what Rabbi Shalom says, Nachamu, Nachamu, Ami. And the words will come to fruition. Have a wonderful Shabbos.